We're Atalka. And Jen. And we're here for another one of our motivational moments. We're doing these Monday to Friday in this group and in our other public groups so that we can help you stay positive and focused on what you can control in these trying times. Yes. And today our quote is, every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. And that's from... From Alice Morse Earl, and I am very, very certain that everyone can relate to that at this, especially during this time. And even before this whole chaotic situation that happened in the world, we uh, we had to remind ourselves that something could come that was good from every day because we have situations with our family, we have health issues, we have work issues, we have world issues and or now things that happen for absolutely no reason yeah. like just all of a sudden something happens and especially now with this whole uh coronavirus and everything that's going on in terms of people being locked down and self-isolation we are very very consumed with things that are going on around us in the outside space that we can't control and, and those though, can start affecting us in our personal lives and on a daily basis yes and so we want to tell you that you have to remind yourself that even though every day might not be good there's something good in every day yes i love that quote um where do we go from here well the thing is is that like as john said you don't know what your day is going to be like but if you look for the good in every day then you start to find more mm -hmm. and by the time you're done even though something crazy or not so fun may have happened that day you can still focus on the good and because of that you see the good and so your your view of how that day happened is actually focused on the good and it could have been the crappiest day ever but you still, because you're focused on the good, your day, if someone asks you, oh yeah, my day was pretty good. And then other people would go, but you did this and this and this happened. How come you're still so happy? It's like, because I focused on the good. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, we've, we've got this exercise that we want to do with you. And it is shared from someone that just did it recently in one of my private groups. Um, so I want to just make sure that I give credit uh, to James McNeil because he's an awesome guy. If you ever want to check out his stuff, he does a lot of stuff on um, like pure spiritual intelligence is his thing. So if you want to check that out, you can do that. But what he did was really cool. He said, I want you to look around the room and I, I want you to find all the things that are black okay so take a few minutes just look all around the room because we're going to get a test we're going to check i'm going to see how many things you can remember okay so black black look around the room black's actually a pretty common color so that's a lot of things you might go oh my gosh i can't think of all the black things i can't remember those just look okay now we're going to close our eyes because like have you had enough time yes yes yeah <laughs> okay close your eyes and now Tell me all the things in the room that were blue. Oh, shoot. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So he explained it in a different way because he put more like he's he's really big into his spiritual thing. And he's, he went on to all kinds of little difficult levels of how this all happens. But it's also just at a very simplistic level. What we see in the world and what how we interpret what is going on in the world is through our own interpretation mm -hmm. so because we focused on the black then i asked you about the blue stuff that you had in your room you had no clue right like it's like okay yeah. well and and so you're if you choose to focus on one thing you will not see the other stuff it does not mean it's not there mm -hmm. okay that's the key that's the whole explanation in a nutshell and if you um look at that in that perspective, then you can say, well, first of all, I can find good in every single day because I'm going to look for it. That also means that if you are focused specifically on one thing during the day and it happens to be the negative stuff, then unfortunately that's what you see, even though there might be some really cool positive stuff happening, mm -hmm. but you haven't focused on it. And the other thing that is really cool is instead of doing a review at the end of the, like we, we talked about doing the, um, the, the, the focusing starting from the beginning of the day. So you can do it that way and always say, let's focus on the good. It doesn't mean you ignore the bad. It's like, it's just many, if you say, oh, this is happening, but acknowledge it. this is still good as well. Mm -hmm. So if you walk through the day like that, 
you won't have something at the end of the day where you go, I am stressed and overwhelmed because I can't even think straight because of all the stuff that's happening that I can't control or that it's negative for me. But the other way to look at it is after, so you're actually using this as a tool to get yourself through each day. The other way is at the end of the day, if even if you're using this as a tool and you still kind of end up more on the negative side than the positive side, less uh, half empty rather than half full, then you can use that at the end of the day to say, hey, so much stuff happened today. Yeah. It's not even fathomable. And it really is. And it's like, you look at the news and I just go, is that reality? Um, because things are happening so in such a crazy way. But then I go, but I still have this, this, and this as good. Mm -hmm. And it balances us out. So you can do that. That's do this exercise at the mo in the morning by saying, I'm going to look for the good in the entire day. And then you can do it at night because even if you get overwhelmed by the end of the day, because it's very hard not to, then you can say, but there's still a whole bunch of stuff that I can find within the day that's good. And you can go um, very detailed, right? You could go, um, you know, my I still had a, a really nice cup of coffee or I still was able to FaceTime someone that I really liked and I talked to them for a bit. I laughed. I did this. Yeah. Or you can go really crazy down to the core of I'm still alive, right? Yeah. Because if nothing else, if you're still okay. alive, then if you're still healthy, that's number two. And and then the next thing, you, you can go from there, but those are huge. And if nothing else, that's part of what is good mm -hmm. everything else is figure outable as marie forleo says yeah and the one step further to help you actually recognize that those things are good write them down like have a little sticky note or in a journal yeah. and say this is what like i had a really darn good cup of coffee today if that's the best thing that's happening right now and i i believe it because yeah. i understand if that's something that makes you smile and you say man that coffee is good and that's what is going to make my day start and that's what gives me sort of sort of peace then write it down because then you can actually like putting stuff to pen to paper it makes you actually recognize it and feel it and uh take that emotional side to it and say hey this actually made me feel really darn good yeah it lets you review it lets you think about it um reflect on it and then if you want to you can actually read all your stuff there are your entries for the entire week mm -hmm. like maybe on a sunday afternoon when we're not doing the the quotes on the weekends just to keep your you abreast of the fact that hey you can think of good things that happen every day even if every day isn't the greatest yes and in the society where we have lived in absolute um abundance and anything is possible all things are good we haven't like most of our like maybe like i haven't but my mom and her mom, they both witnessed wartime and depression and all that stuff. We haven't had that in so long. So it's really important that you realize that we have constantly been having the abundance of good. But all the people who lived through those bad times, that's what they did. They always looked for the good. Mm -hmm. And that helped them move forward. And now we need to draw on those techniques. We just don't have them in our tool toolbox yet because we haven't needed it. Mm -hmm. We've always been really pretty good, pretty darn good off. Even if we, even in the 2008 uh, recession, things were not really as bad as they were really, really long ago. And so it's really important to make sure that you find good in every day, so that you can make sure that you keep moving forward and also bring that positive light into the universe and all the people around you so that we as a collective force can continue to move towards the good rather than get sucked up in the bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us for another motivational moment. We will see you again tomorrow at some point during the day. And we'll have another quote for you or something really great to talk about in terms of inspirational things that will keep you going uh, through these tough times. And we hope that everyone stays safe, healthy, wash, wash your hands, hands, don't touch your face, <laughs> stay at home. And uh, yeah, and watch. We also have a whole bunch of other replays that you can watch with the motivational moments if you're just joining us for the first time here. Bye. See you tomorrow.